what is up guys it's troy d welcome back to the channel troy d 24 7 mall on point fragrance reviews all day every day thank you for getting on the channel and thank you for watching our videos we've got a lot of diverse videos around here so if you want kind of like a, a way around this place you know all you got to do is to go to the playlists and you'll have a little bit of a dissection of what's on the channel so you're not overwhelmed by all these videos that we have but a lot of it's really good stuff and I thank you to everybody that tell me that it's good stuff all right I was I want to also shout out the guys at the Facebook groups it's amazing to see just the amount of interest that's in fragrances uh, that's in niche fragrances, designer fragrances, whatever's new. Um, and it's also insane, amazing to see people's collections. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy when I see people's collections. I'm like, wow, it's, it's, it's gone to the point where it's kind of like the matrix to me. <laughs> where I can kind of like look at a collection photo. If somebody like does a whole like, here's my collection photo or here's my, here's my rotation photo. I can almost like see who that guy is you know i can almost see what kind of guy that person is just by looking at the collection of fragrances that he has and I'm, i guess by looking at mine you can kind of piece together what kind of guy i am right so uh the previous video to this one is about the decant video and uh, i talked about how i was able to acquire five mil decants of some of the best roja dove stuff and uh, when I had the choice, uh, luckily I got a friend, his name's Mark, and uh, he's got all the Rojas, you know. And I was like, I, I had a choice of four, or was it five? Um, but I, I chose these, and one of the most uh, curious that I, uh, I, the things that really got me curious, but I wasn't um, like too convinced, okay, was uh, Roja Dove's Sweetie Aoud. All right, Roja Dove Sweetie Aoud. Definitely part of the more hyped uh, Roja Dove uh, fragrances that is not on the cologne. This is like kind of like upper tier a little bit. Part of his Aoud series that, you know, there's, there's a couple guys that really like, I guess, got me to or influenced me to pick this one. I could have gotten anything else out of the Roja house from Mark but uh, we had a, um, a reviewer Richard from uh, Fragrance Empire and he was like this is my favorite fragrance like ever or something like that it was it was to that degree sorry Rich if I'm not sure but that's kind of what I saw and then I uh, also talked to one of these guys in LA that uh, bought decans from me Zernel and he was like dude I wish I wish this was like you know not so expensive that I would use it every day because it's so good, right? And this is a guy from LA, so I'm from LA, and I was like, "Oh, really? Okay." And that got me curious, you know. A couple inputs right there from uh, from different guys, and I said, "You know, I gotta figure out this sweetie out." So I got it. And first thing I can say was uh, when I looked it up, it is a gourmand. And I was like, oh, gourmand. You know, I've been buying gourmands, right? I've been buying gourmands. I had like Oajan, Lira, Mamluk, um, Nisha Neani, to me is a gourmand, Black Phantom over there. And then I was like, I was like, oh, gourmand, gourmand. But Sweetie Aoud, how can that be gourmand? And, and, and this is, I, I didn't really read into the literature that came with it, but I just like, I, I got it. And then when I sprayed it, yo, crazy. It, it smells like freaking, uh, <laughs> sort of like uh, uh, buttered croissants. You know, buttered croissants was like coming out of this fragrance. And I was like, what? Because, you know, other gourmands that I collect and I like have the same effect, really. Okay. And that's why I like them. They're very um, warm and comforting. Uh, usually there's some caramel in it or some chocolate in it um, or some sort of uh, combination of both. 
And uh, those are usually what I have in my gourmands. But this one was a straight up like bready, like, you know, buttered croissant smell. Like, like came out of nowhere and was like, I was like, geez, how the heck? And I was like, and knowing Roja, right? Like his notes are like, some of them we really don't know what they are. Like, I mean, unless you really had to look it up but like he doesn't do that he just dumps a bunch of these unknown notes and uh, you try to make sense out of it but the way when i checked the uh, literature it said that it was a patisserie accord if you don't know patisserie okay that is bakery in french that is bakery in french a patisserie okay so it has a patisserie accord meaning whatever notes he put in here whether it's a labdum, labdanum, uh, olibanum, uh, cloves, uh, cumin, whatever it is that he put in here, uh, basically amounted to a bakery accord, <laughs> a bakery accord. And so this was really, really interesting. I was like, oh, I've never smelled that in a fragrance before. And um, I guess there is a touch of uh, bergamot here something bright because it's not like turning into the warm warm gourmand that i own it's just it doesn't turn into that so that was totally different i was like man it is it is kind of bright kind of uplifting and then there's that there's that patisserie smell you know and um it's not just like buttered croissants you know i feel like there is some fruity uh aspect to it which is probably um from uh maybe the labdanum maybe the cardamom i don't know man i don't even want to say like which one is it because it's it feels like just pastries with like sweet stuff on top of it um maybe blueberry muffin strawberry muffin i don't know but it's that mixed with buttered croissants buttered croissants now this is still an oud okay so when we talk about the oud that is in here guys okay the oud in here is really wonderful it is uh not uh I, I i at this point really high level oud i really shouldn't be like oh barnyard fecal whatever medicinal no 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 it's not like that but the oud is really what finishes the job and i guess because it's mixed with patchouli it turns out as you know the bitter slightly bitter oud that cause uh maybe creates that body that that all this patisserie accord kind of clings on and uh, that body is essential you know that oud part is essential which is again kind of bittery mixed with patchouli creates uh, a very uh, great body that doesn't overwhelm it's just right there i would say out of the entire scent when you smell it maybe it is uh 45 to 50 percent of the scent so guaranteed it's not an oud scent it's sort of like backed up by the oud a gourmand backed up by the oud okay and it is amazing it is amazing it and that's why it's on the higher line because the oud is high quality oud not uh anything too strong so definitely this is wearable by the you know whoever it is that feels elite today you feel elite today i mean i don't really believe in just elitists you can just feel elite today you know uh, uh this would i would liken this to you know wearing roja to maybe driving a mercedes-benz you know it's the mercedes-benz of perfumes so having that feeling of wearing roja and also having the uh the oud high level oud back it up creates this bright really unique 10 out of 10 unique gourmand that is just whoa it kind of it kind of shocked me you know and and uh and i'll kind of understand why a couple of those guys were talking about it um 
would I add this to my collection? All right. <clears throat> so, Sweetie Aoud, I would definitely blind buy, uh, not blind buy first. I would try it out first because usually when you watch YouTubers or YouTube videos, um, you got to watch out as to what kind of gourmand people are talking about when they say gourmand. And number two is you also have to realize, you know, what are the benefits of wearing gourmand? And more importantly, this is not truly, truly a gourmand because there's also oud. So it will be nice to have maybe like a sample of this um, so that you can try it out and see how you like a hybrid of both gourmand and oud together. And if you can come up with that conclusion that that's what you like, then go ahead, it's 500 bucks, drop the 500 bucks on the big bottle. You should be fine. Okay? But I will say this, uniqueness on this is so high. I mean, none of my gourmands smell like this. Nothing. I've never uh, I've never had a bakery smell at me. Uh, also, I will say this, usability-wise, this is a great uh, date night scent, in my opinion. I can see myself wearing this to the movies. I can uh, see myself uh, going out at night, um, nice dinner, having this around me. Um, is it like an opulent scent, kind of like uh, for opulence? Yeah, yeah, but not not as good as like, you know, the other Rojas, like PDLN2. Uh, which is right here. I mean, that was an amazing, gosh, wedding scent. I mean, this is not a wedding scent, but this is kind of like, it's kind of like a personality scent, you know? You want to show people you got personality, you got uniqueness. Um, they won't know what hit them, okay? They won't know what hit them when you put on uh, Sweetie Oud. Crazy, okay? All right, so that's it, guys. That is my review of Sweetie Oud. Um, one of the more hyped high-end Roja line uh, items. I want to thank Mark for trading this out to me. Uh, he's at the Facebook groups. I mean, you won't miss him because he's always selling decants of Roja. Uh, it's it's truly an interesting scent. Must try, I would say. Must own, depending on how you try it. Okay. So let me know, guys. If you have this or if you have tried this, what do you guys think? Let me know on the comments. I'd love to know because I've only had input for two from two or three guys. Let me know on the comments. And again, don't forget, please subscribe, guys. Please subscribe. Motivates me to make videos every day. Okay? So until then, guys, it's Troy D. Have a great night. God bless. Peace out.